Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are taking a look at the geometry node and specifically we are dealing with some attributes and also density painting. So for those who would like to use density or you want to paint your density and you're wondering how is this thing done, you probably have seen this before and you don't really know how to get around it. Today we're definitely going to take a look at how you can easily do this. So first things first, we're actually working with Blender 2.9 to the beta, which is going to go ahead and get ourselves a grid so i can scale this grid all the way up and you can see how beautiful that is so next thing which i'll do is just raise this one up as well and then select this object go all the way here and you already know the routine that we are about to add the geometry node so right now this contains the geometry node and this is how easy it is now the next thing which you would logically do is to throw in the points because what we want to do is to drive some attributes all right so we want to drive some attributes on some density and these densities we need to see them as a certain form of attributes that can be painted in or out so for this i'm just going to click right here and invoke the points distribution node so we can get that and of course you can see we have all of that points happening let's throw in that join node so that we can see what we have on the base and also what we have on top so let's do that like so all right cool so we have this so at this point we can increase and we can you know reduce that now the next thing which you might probably want to do is to try and see the object that you're scattering but this what we're going to do is to throw in some instances and it's very obvious that we're going to play with the cube for most of you guys you might be saying is there a way we can reduce this cube so that it's not this heavy and yeah there are several ways that you can do this one of the first ways that you can actually do this is by throwing something called the fill so you can use the attributes fill to actually play with the skill so we can type in skill right here and we have that as skill and you notice everything simply disappears let's take out this cube so that you guys can see what i'm doing so everything disappears because the value right here is turned down so within your attribute there are several attributes that you can play with directly in blender and skill is one of them so you have the skill you have rotates you have colors and so on and so forth so scale is one of them so at this point i can dial in 0.01 and now you would notice that we have this scaling thing going on right here and you can actually do a lot of things okay so we can choose to play with the scale we can also choose to play with rotation now with this done the next thing which you might want to do is to now go in and start playing with how the painting feature would work or how you can now paint your density now for that what you need to do is simply select the object which you want to paint this density on and if you go over here you notice we don't have any vertex group now if you click right here and go over to your weight painting you would notice that significantly mine is set to black contrary to what you would have which is set to blue now for this you need to go over to edit go over to preference if you want to deal with the black and white version and you need to go over to the editing section and if you click down here you can turn this on all right so if i turn this off you notice it's set to blue and that simply means that i can now go in and make some paintings like so so you can see this painting all right let's go back and re-invoke this and if i turn this on you notice it's this color so you can select the kind of colors that you want and for those coming from maya or 3d studio max you definitely understand or find these ones very very familiar so i'm just going to go ahead and close that and at this point what we are doing is we're painting so as we paint across this within the blacks and the whites you would notice that automatically we have this set to group so what is this group that group is what we can now use to actually drive the density attribute so attributes is actually something that is significant to an object and these things can be used to drive several parameters and this attribute that we want to bring right here is known as group so you can change this to fill or occupy you know whatever you want let's call this set one all right so we're just going to call this one set one and i'll come over here and type in the word set zero one and we have that now you'd notice that within the white sections we have these objects around so depending on the gradient that's going on from here all the way to this part that is how this can be filled in so if i move this directly to a point like so and start increasing the density you would notice that this tries as much as possible to stay just within the white section so right now you are now driving the density by simply painting so i can go in there and make some paintings make some paintings and that is how i can drive the density if i set these to about 50 for example 
and I actually go in and make some more paintings, this is definitely going to be, you know, really cool. Now, where does this come into play? It comes into play in a lot of places. Say, for example, you would like to create a combination of both cubes and also trees, plants and stuff. You can literally drive this a lot better by bringing in some extra stuff. So for this, what I'm going to do is I will still stay within these corners and I will drop this weight all the way down and I will paint the entire thing black. So let's just zoom all the way out so that we can paint all this black and I would like to get some geometries around here okay so let's grab this one on and paint some geometries around here actually before we do that let's press the tab key right click and subdivide this a little bit more so that we can have more stuff okay so at this point i can bring that down paint all this out bring this all the way up and now if i make that tiny painting across this is where i would like to get maybe stones stuff like that i might want to get those things there so we have this one right here and then the next thing which i would like to do is jump over to blender 2.91 where i already have a botanic model so this model is from botanic and if you click on the spawn you notice is the cypress tree so i'm going to select the cypress tree copy this you know store this in the buffer go all the way here and simply do a paste so once i paste this down this exists right here so let's jump back over to the object mode and you can now see that we just have this one here now if i will also like to have this object and I would like it to be around these other parts, okay? I want this to be on the other part and I don't want it to be within this place. I can choose to make another vertex group and doing that is also pretty simple. So I can select this object right now, click on the plus sign and I have a second group. Now with this second group there, let's lock this. So with this second group here, I can go all the way and switch over to our weight paint. So within the weight paint at this point, I can now choose to actually make this all the way white so let's actually crank this all the way up and make everything white zoom down a little bit and drag this a little bit backwards and do this stuff or you can do this in a much more easier way select this object that you have here called gradient switch over to radial and if you click and drag you would notice that you can now create a radial so i can get this radio right there and this radial is what will be able to drive all of this other parts so you notice I have the white parts in the middle and I have this other one. It's no mistake because we can go over to the weight and we can invert this weight. Okay, so we can easily do that and I can do something like that. So depending on what I would like to do, actually, if I also want to use the linear, you can also use the linear to do some stuff like this. All right. So maybe you want some stuff like that. You can also use the linear to do that. So with this done, I can go ahead and switch over to the objects mode. And this is actually one of the fun parts. Okay. So for this part, I would also want to get multiple stuff like this so instead of redoing this and reinventing the wheel i can just copy move this down and now change this cube all right from this cube to the tree from the folks at polygonic and i can now throw in another join so with this join node we can have another join so i can connect this right here and then connect this right here and finally right over to this part now you don't see anything happening because we haven't gone through to actually rewire this so i'm just going to wire this one right over to this point and then i would also want to make some other changes with this so one of the changes i would like to make right now is to get this out of the way and reconnect these objects all right so with this here the first thing which you would notice is everything seems to be looking good but you don't necessarily see anything happening here so what's the problem even if you go ahead and say okay so you want to get this as a group copy that and you want to replace that to a point like this you would notice you don't see anything on top because this is flipped upside down so if you look at that what do you know this is right here okay so with this here what and what can we do so maybe you've been in this situation before you would like to flip things back and forth how you can get things going is very very simple so the first thing which we we'll like to do is we might want to play with the scale, okay? But for this, we might also want to also do some things that has to do with the rotation. So let's tackle that of the rotation first before we talk about the scale. So for the scale, a huge shout out to the folks at Blender for actually implementing this because right now you can do a rotate and rotate that point yourself. So I'm just going to set this as it is right there. And then I would need to turn this about 180 degrees. Now, once I do that, you would notice that this is here. Now with this done, you can now also go ahead and start doing some very interesting stuff that deals with the scaling. So for that, we would need to also do a randomizing scale. And for us to get that going, if we go over to attributes, we can launch an attribute randomize. And if we click there and add the attribute randomize, 
all we need to do is enter that attribute known as scale and right now you'd notice that we have some scaling thing going on here now let's explain the minimum and maximum this is the minimum scale that you want to get and this is the maximum so if i set this to 0.01 that is going to be like the maximum scale that we can get and you would notice that this automatically becomes the minimum and we can also go ahead and increase this and reduce that and play with it so let's actually make this one five doesn't look so bad now does it and we can also go in and let's increase this a little bit more so 0.0, .0 let's make this eight okay so that looks good we can play with the seed and you can see that happening and of course you can choose to do some more interesting stuff with it so if you would like to also change the positioning change how the painting looks like you can also do that let's increase the density so we can have a lot more of our cool stuff like this and we can also do that as well for this density so we're just going to increase that maybe we'll just want to have this as rocks so we have this going and you might also be asking what about you know this stuff this is like inside and how do you bring this all the way up so for those who want to move their points you know if you go over and you select your object like this and you choose to throw in a translate or a transform okay so if you throw in a simple transform and you like to transform this particular stuff what goes on here is as simple as this you know like once you move this you notice that the transformation is going at this point and what you're doing is you're transforming the entire thing but you might want to consider taking a look at playing with the points and this can also happen from a position like so so for this now if you go in there and you throw the translate you notice that you have the points translate so this is also something that is pretty new that the folks at blender foundation have also implemented and you can choose to play with this translation based off a single attribute or you can play with the vector so vectors are basically rgbs xyz's so you can play with this vector and also get some cool result from it so you can get this to move left or right if that's what you want so what you're translating at this point is not the entire geometry but you're translating the point so we can set this to minus 0.1 let's see that's a little bit too much let's get that down zero two okay so that way we now have this right there and for the most part if you like to use weight painting to control how things work you can actually get some very nice results by simply using the weight painting feature that exists here to get some cool results so we can go in and make some paintings like so and that way we can clear the parts all right so we can clear the part like this and just make sure that this exists just within this point and for those who would like to also you know add some more stuff around you can also go ahead and add some very you know interesting things so this is going to be very very useful for those who are looking at creating some sort of landscape or maybe you want to create a building and you just want the grasses or the trees to just be around there you know this is definitely going to be very very handy for you guys and for the rest of these and for the beautification what we've done is we've gone over to a couple of add-ons which you already have access to and that is the city builder add-on and also the transportation add-on actually transportation is at 10 off right now for those who would like to get it and we've brought in a couple of models from there just to add up to this and you can see that without spending so much time we've populated the entire scene by simply using the geometry node and then with a couple of add-ons here and there we've also gone ahead to create this beautiful looking stuff so this is going to be available to the patrons and i'm going to put all assets files and everything right there so you guys will be able to play with it and also play with the assets that comes with this as well and that's definitely going to be about it now if you would want to join the patreon link is going to be in the description as that would greatly support the channel and if you would like to also ask questions about things that you like to see or maybe there's a tutorial or something that you like us to cover please put that in the comment section as well as we will do our best to cover that as soon as possible and that's about it tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace